Good morning everyone, Matt Soper here, Hampshire Carnivorous Plants, and we've been asked a lot recently how to overwinter your Saracenia or what to do with the plants. I want to try and make this video as clear as possible um, so you can see what we do with us over the winter. So today it's, well, what is it, 9th of November, and we'll have a look at this large Saracenia flower variant with jello. Now I've left this one intentionally for this video. Um, years ago, when I first started growing these plants, I remember I used, in the autumn, I used to cut all the pictures down to the ground, right down <clears throat> around about, I don't know, September, October time. And this had quite an effect on my plants. I found that they were coming up shorter each year. The plants were actually getting smaller. And the reason for this is because I was depriving the plants of the food which they'd caught that season, which helps to build the rhizome up for the following year when they take advantage of that and make nice big pictures. So the way I cut, or the way we cut our plants down here, is we just cut off the brown bits So here. I want this to be really, really clear so you all know what to do. This one's right down the bottom, so I'll take that one off. This one here. Here. Now we'll carry on with this one, but you're probably wondering why we do this. Now, the reason why we do this is because if you grow your plants in an unheated greenhouse like we are here, with not much air movement, although we do open the doors, I've got the fans turned off at the moment so you can hear me talking, but in a greenhouse with a relatively still atmosphere, you get a problem called uh, botrytis. It's a fungal problem. It's a grey mould. And I've got an example of it here. So you know what to look for. Can you see this fluffy stuff on here? On this flower seed pod? This is botrytis or grey mould. This is not good. If you leave this, it can spread and go down the uh, flower scape or down the pictures and it can cause uh, the plant to rot out from the rhizome. It's probably one of the biggest problems you can get when you're growing these plants under glass over winter. The time you get it most are normally autumn when it's overcast and dull and the same in early spring. When it's really really cold and frosty I find it's not a problem. But if you keep your plants clean and tidy, as I say removing any of the, the dead foliage, it's fine. And I said earlier about chasing the plants down, just cutting the, the brown bits off here. Obviously by cutting the brown bits off, you're reducing a chance of botrytis on your plants, but also you're not depriving the plants of the insect material. Now can we have a look in here? Can you see the flies in there? Mm -hmm. So this bit will remain on the plant. And this is what will give the plant its energy or strength to grow next season. All of these are just cut down as far as they are brown. But then, so we give the plants a trim off, and then a few weeks time, we're, we'll remove them down a bit further. So all I'm doing is taking off any of the, the really dead brown traps. It doesn't take that long once you get a hang of it. We can do this a few years now. So we can get through quite a few beds. They're relatively short. Waste of time. So really what you're doing is leaving anything on the plant that's green and removing all the dead brown material. And as I said, the reason you're doing that is to stop the chance of botrytis. Now, if you're growing your plants out in a peat bog garden, you do not need to do this. We do, just to make everything nice and tidy. But when they're outside with lots of air movement, I've never had a problem with botrytis out in the bog garden with plants growing out in the open. So outside it's not a problem, but under glass it is. And by doing this, um, we've reduced the chances of botrytis oh, tenfold. In fact, we never spray with a fungicide over the winter months. As long as we just keep on top like this, keep the plants clean and tidy. Another good thing to do is keep the plants stood on damp capillary matting, keep them just damp rather than wet, 
and you can overwinter them quite happily. Now I hope that's been useful because we have been asked a lot about this. I hope that's explained the, re explained the reason why we leave some of the trap on the plant and also why we cut the brown bits off of the, the traps, off the Saracenia plants. Okay, thanks very much for watching.